There you go. We're going pig hunting. I got that uh, tar last night. That's my first tar I ever got. That's our hut. My mate Richard's up that gully right now. Hopefully onto something. And I've got my dogs all coiled up and we're going to go up that gully up there. So if you're vegetarian or vegan and don't like the idea of eating free range meat, switch off now. Save yourself a whole lot of trouble. But if you're someone that likes going out and getting your own free range meat, organic meat, the best meat you can eat in the world. And around here I can tell you they're fat as mud. They are fat around here. And come with me. I'm excited. This is not the sort of country I'm used to hunting. We're down south, Rangitata area, and everything's frozen. It's like the ground's frozen. A couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, we got a boar up there with my dogs, and my mate Richard was saying that uh, when it freezes over, he said that the actual ground holds the scent of pigs from days gone by. So that's interesting, isn't it? Get in, Big seat. Big seat, come. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on the dogs because they're already starting to scent. Yeah, we'll head over this, we'll cross over this fence line. Pokum, she's looking up here. Pokum, go up here. I got a pig just up there the other day, so who knows what'll happen. Come on. Is this uh, pig still here? What's that? It's a uh, genius, yeah. It's frozen, but that could be really old. You can't tell about the scent around here because it's different. We'll cross over this creek. This face might have something in it still, not likely. There's old pig sign here, but uh, it's hard to tell how old it is. I'm not used to hunting in country like this, so it's all new to me. Keeping dogs in as we go up here. Gonna head up on here, just gonna keep dogs in. Get him behind me. Get him behind. Good boy. Good dogs. I'm gonna cross over here. Hopeful to get something up here. It's starting to heat up now, so I'm going to take this off and keep climbing. The ones come up. I'm down here. That's me there. And dogs are up here about 200. And they're going a hell of a rate altogether. So I'm going to guess that they're onto a pig. I'd say I'll be dropping down that creek again. Way the fuck up there. Shit. Oh no. Too far. Jeez, it's bloody hard ass to go through this stuff. Well, this is pig hunting. Shit, still got it. Right, I've got to run up this fucking hill. Man, I've got all the way down the bottom of the hill and all the way back up to get it. No barking, just a squeal. Can't be that big. Well, you never know how you get there. But I'll find out. I'll switch off and switch on a little bit closer. Okay. A bit of a squeal going on. Oh, it's not, not a biggie. Good dogs, good boy. Well, it's a little boar, I don't know, 30, 40 pound. Good, good find by the dogs, but hard yakka to get it. Had to, I went right down the bottom of the gully and they chased it right around here. You just don't realise a pig that size can go so far. That's where they were onto. Little ginger boar. It's taken me a while to get there, so there's probably some bruised meat on it. Mind you, as Richard says, to have bruised pork, first of all, you got to have pork, and we do have some pork here. Good dogs. Yesterday was a big day on the hill and I'm a bit, bit rooted today. So Bixie cop do bloody a stick in his eye. I don't know what's looking here, mate. Can you open it up? Not looking flash, is it, mate, hey? Got a good poke in there, didn't you, boy? It's inflammation there going on. Don't touch! Leave it! Bad dog! Well, B got a hiding from that possum. It got claws into him. Poe went nowhere near it because she knows. And Bigsy thought he'd have a wee play with it, but come off when I called him. And old mate's not too flashy, sitting up there on the rock going, well, you gave me a rude awakening, but I'm still here, you bastards. 
he'll uh, probably crawl back into his hole. They're pretty tough possums, takes a lot to kill them. I've been so wound up because uh, there's all this pig sign here and probably saw something black and went, yeah, that'll do, and grabbed it. It's furry and fluffy and then found it had claws in it and that wasn't so much fun. And old Poe was like, no, don't touch that. Good to see Bigsy listening. Don't touch B, you leave it. Status is we've done that whole head in the gully up behind me and I'm walking right back to where originally we got the first pig with nothing more on the board. But I'm seeing some footprints of pigs going up here so we lifted a mob and we hit that one and they've run out. Anyway, I'm just about at the end of my energy. I'm gonna, I can feel a lactic acid in my legs now, going all, not wanting to move. I am fucked. Fuck I am fucked. And I'm hurting. Painkillers are worn off of my neck. I put it out oh, three weeks ago. My head planted the ground with a pack on it. It's not in the right place. No bitching, but it fucking does hurt. So, just pushing through. This is the zone I'm in now, so this is where I'm. This is my happy place. And I'll stay happy in here. It's not a biggie. Hey mate. But it's a piggy. Oh, I can hear that bike getting closer. Boy, he's made it through. There you go. Good going. That makes life easy. Well, I could uh, get into this sort of pig hunting. Got my taxi service coming to pick me up and I have to carry it out. Get out of there, B. Well, the dogs know what time it is. Back from their hunt. Richard gave me a ride back on the, the quad bike, so that was awesome. And these guys know that it's time for a feed of their favourite. That's right. Posse, um, plenty of it too, eh? Keep them all separate while they're eating so there's no fights. If you go away in the, the bush for a few days or you're going on a road mission and you don't normally feed your dogs posse yum, grab a few rolls of that because it keeps, keeps forever. I mean, in this temperature, everything keeps anyway, it's that bloody cold. But if you go away on a, on a trip, posse yum is really good because it's high nutrition and it doesn't need to be refrigerated and it stays fresh the whole time. I wouldn't feed my dogs anything else when I'm hunting them hard because it's a premium dog tucker and it's always in good nick. It makes a big difference to how long your dogs live for too. I've been feeding Bruno, my old boy who's now in his 11th year, I've been feeding him posse yum forever and his life expectancy was about eight years to nine at the most and we've got extra time out of him. So it's good. Oh, I'll just keep all these wrappers up. Your dogs all right? Okay. Good dogs. All good? Slow down, Poe. Okay? Good girl. Don't eat too fast. Down in there, I've got a 150 pound ball for my 50th birthday. Oh, well done, mate. The morning, the morning of my 50th birthday. No, baby. that's a good birthday. Yeah. 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 Bloody just good. looking for a bit of digging on this grass, but there's only a wee bit there, there's no fresh stuff. Really. Mm. It's Poe Windy. Oh yeah, she's windy. Dog's got a pick just down here. Jeez, what's the best way to get down there? Fuck. Straight down here? There's a hole, where you go. Oh, lovely. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shit! Fuck. Ah. That was a shit of a place to come down. I'd hate to go down further, just all thick stuff like this. It's a, uh, a blue pig. Nice eating. I'll drop the guts out and take it back up the bike. We're going to take this out and we're going to eat it. Yeah. Had too many dogs swinging off for the time I was getting down there. But that's what happens when you've got like three dogs and one small pig. They all do what nature does and they kick in and they hold it. Rich is probably at the top there laughing at me because I'm going through the gore squealing like a little bitch, getting cut and scratched. Right, drop the guts out, take it back out. Where I've gutted it, I've just made a hole just big enough in my fist because you're going through all this thick stuff, you don't want to go inside the meat. That's why I just make a very small hole when gutting pigs in this sort of thick bush. Here I'm asleep, Captain. Oh, no. I actually tell you, it's not very fucking nice down there. <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't see you racing down to give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see the point. I no. Knew it, knew it wasn't very big. Bigger no. than I thought it was, eh? Bit of chew, mate. Yeah. And then we'll get something off it. Blue one, eh? Yeah, nice wee bluey. Yeah. Shall we put these dogs on and get the fuck out of here? Yeah. Are you still filming? Sorry. No, it's alright, mate. Doesn't matter. It's all what it is. I'm fucked. Jesus, some prickles down there. Did you get to the blackberry part? Yeah, blackberry and gorse. Oh, yes. You Great didn't tell stuff. me about that, did you? Yeah. No gloves. Uh, yeah, but it's alright up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, mate. Okay, just, what? I don't know actually what was doing more squealing, actually. You or the pig. Yeah, probably me. <laughs> probably me. Oh, I hate pig hunting. <laughs> Jesus, got all down my crack and ass. Nah, she could walk. I'm not catching another pig. Good girl, Pi. Good boy, B. Good girl. He's quite a heavy dog. Yeah, he is. He's a heavy, heavy dog. Yeah, it's not like uh, a one of Terry, he possibly is from Brown. Good girl, Poe. Good girl, Poe. He is a wild Terry, mate. I think he's just swung to Poe's jeans. Yeah, he is, yeah. That's our mate. That's my pig out with Richard. Gonna take that back, all the way back home. And then I'm gonna cook up a feed, show you guys a really awesome way to cook wild pork. None of that's gonna get wasted. We've got another two pigs at home, which I caught the last couple days we go back to this place and we're gonna skin them out take all the meat every bit's gonna go in a bag and any chewed bits of meat dogs can eat that and when I get back to, to Christchurch where I'm going today I'll put it in the mate's fridge and then tomorrow morning I'm heading back up to Nelson and back to the old farmhouse so we'll see you there I was eating chicken in my truck talking to my dad about the tower I got and this lady here her mother-in-law over here she comes running up and goes, can I get a photo of my daughter-in-law? And I go, yeah. So I was still chewing chicken and talking to Dad. I said, Dad, I've got to go. This woman wants to get a photo with her daughter-in-law. That was Casey. Yep. Cool. Casey, she probably contacted me about two or three years ago. And I don't even know what it's for, but we would had hunting in common. Her partner, Cam, yep. he's a, an avid follower and loves his pig hunting. But anyway, he just shot a 21-pointer stag, which is phenomenal, really. Doesn't happen very often. No. So I was just in count down here, get my chicken out and come running up to me. And anyway, right now we're just uh, introducing Casey to the dogs. This is on my way home from my trip. So I just want to share that with you because it's kind of funny. I thought it was anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, it's good to see you too, mate. It really yeah, is. You too. What do you reckon about Pope? She's pretty cool. She's nice, eh? She's a yeah. lovely dog. So She's very nice. Eight years of age, a really good yeah. pig dog. Good girl. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. She wants the old pad right. all the time. So you got too many dogs too? Uh, we've got like maybe three or four pig dogs and then right. we've got like, yeah, working right. dogs, pet dogs. Cool. And two kids? Two kids, yep. yeah. Yeah, no, very lucky. Not much time for hunting though, eh, when you've got kids? No, but we try to get, get out a wee bit yeah. with them. Do you enjoy the farm life and the outdoor life? You into it? Yeah, yep. definitely. I used to shepherd before. Oh, you've been a shepherd? Like down south. Right. I went to, do you know Telford? Yeah, I do, yeah. You went yeah. to Telford? Yeah. Wow. That was in 2014, so yeah. Well, anyway, hey, look, great to meet you. you too. And, and your mum, my law. Mother in law. <laughs> and uh, we'll carry on our trip. Yeah, good That's luck. Good. And say good day to your man for us. We'll organise a hunt sometime. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Back at the old farmhouse, we're actually in the old house truck, and uh, Pace is having some ribs, and the rest of it, I just gave him some that was a bit dogged. We're going to cook right now. I'll show you what we're going to do with it. These little scissors, really good for chopping through the ribs. Done. There's their pile of ribs, and there goes a hungry dog thinking he's going to get some. Not for you, mate. That's plain unsweetened yogurt. Just going to stick that in this Tupperware container. Thank God for Tupperware containers, put a good dollop of it in there. Like that, just so we can cover this stuff up. It's about six bucks for one of those, so I've used half of it. Fabrica! Quite mild, this curry. Put over that, all nice colour. Bit of that. I think everybody knows this stuff, Cajun seasoning. Just makes everything taste really good. Put a bit of that in there. Fresh garlic and ginger. You don't like that, do you, mate? Beautiful. 
freshly cut garlic in the mix. Freshly cut ginger, it adds heat to the ribs. Fun part, mix it all up. So we can start to introduce our ribs, each one. We're going to leave those covered up for about two hours. Poke in the fridge and come back to it later. Heating the pan, what I've got is this duck fat. Just getting that going now. Removing as much yogurt as I can, I've done the other side. Just get into the duck fat. You want to maintain a gap in between them all so they can cook properly. Not crowd your pan, otherwise the juices run out and end up stewing it rather than frying it. See if we've got the colour yet. We're starting to brown off a little bit. Bad. How good is that? That's the reason we hunt. Right there. That is the main reason that I hunt. Just for that. Oh, I can tell you it smells good. So, before I start chomping and chewing this, I want to thank my mate Richard for taking me pig hunting. He said to me, my dogs don't normally catch pigs that small. Well, Richard, you're probably right, mate, but hey. At the end of the day, mate, we've got some, some pork for the fork, or at least pork for the hands. Oh. Absolutely delicious, and not for you, dog. Pay should come over here and try and get some. Good chomping and chew them. So if you've got a, a bigger pig, like a big old boar, I would soak the ribs for 20 hours, 24 hours. These little young ones, you can get away with a couple of hours. Generally two to six hours is good. The yogurt breaks the meat down a bit and not so chewy, not that I mind a bit of chomping and chewing. Good luck with your own hunting, outdoor cooking, indoor cooking, however you're doing it. Be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Do you want some paste here? Eat up. Make my finger. Good dog. Mm, that's good, isn't it, eh? Right, I'm finishing it off. Good boy, good boy. Good dog. No more.